My name is Michael Morrow and I'm a professional wildlife cinematographer based in Anchorage, Alaska. Join me as I travel throughout this awesome state looking for all the different types of wildlife to film. Have you ever seen a moose make a rut pit? Well, I'm gonna spend the next couple of weeks in moose country and I'm gonna try to film that behavior. It's pretty cool, it's very important for the moose rut and it's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. It's a really frosty morning this morning. What was mud is now frozen solid, which was awesome. Keeps the boots clean. We got about seven eighths of the way here and found the bull we've been looking for. And we got set up. It's still pretty dark out, as you can see. But we at least have a bull in sight and we're able to film this morning. Got a little bit of footage right out of the gate, but now he's moved down into some tall grass, so we'll see where they end up going and then we'll probably let him settle down and move in and keep our distance and try to get some more behavior footage. So it looks like we have uh, three cows down below and the bull, and the bull's doing bull things. He's trying to do what they call chinning, and that's just to get a response from the female to see if she's willing to, to mate yet. But she's obviously not ready, as you can see from the footage. She's just moving on. She's not wanting to not be around, but she just doesn't want his attention at the moment. So what we got going on here is what we call Fleming. So the cow is just peed, and then he is running that smell through his senses just to determine if this cow is close to being an estrus or what the situation is. It happens a lot all throughout the, the rut with all the ungulates. The deer do it, the elk do it, moose do it. It's just a really interesting thing. And the cool thing with this bull is if you're dead straight on, that's where you get to see how big his antlers really are. Man, I'm working with some seriously low light. I just ran my ISO up to 1600. I'm at 6.2 on the aperture and it looks kind of dark. I'm really on the low side of the histogram or on the dark side of the histogram. I think it'll pull out okay, but man, we need a little bit more light to do this thing right. I didn't get a chance to wrap up yesterday's shoot just because nothing ever worked out. We ended up getting some good footage in the morning. There was the same bull doing the rut pit. It was kind of hidden. I just couldn't get into the proper location, so it was behind the trees, but you can still kind of see what was going on, so I went ahead and shot it anyway. The good thing was, is I was able to get some footage at a distance in the tall grass. If I'd have been down closer to him, I don't know that I would have been able to see over the grass. I was at a higher vantage point, so that made it doable. And then, uh, the weather got really nice. So I went back in the middle of the day thinking I would come back that evening and, and get some footage and I did come back, but man, it was crickets out here. There was just nothing going on. So I ended up making a, a walk down here and didn't see a cow, didn't see a bull. Ended up walking out and came back this morning. So last night was pretty uneventful but today is looking pretty good so far the downside to today will be bright bright Sun in about an hour which I can throw in neutral density and shoot if there's something really good but if it gets to be way too harsh I'll just not shoot and wait and come back later this afternoon the action has kind of died down this morning the bull is just meandering around there's a cow up here there were two cows that went across and then there's a cow down below so I think this bull's having a hard time deciding which which place to be 
and it is a little chilly. You know how it gets cold right before the sun comes up? It's the coldest. That's what I'm feeling right now. It's cold. That right there is such a cool look and pose. Back when I shot stills, that's the kind of pose you want. You want the ears forward. You want that bright eye. You want that regal pose, head up. And for video, the, t the tongue going in and out is awesome, but for stills, you don't want to see that. It gives it more of a humor photo than a serious photo. Man, he's cool. This is such a good looking bull. He is so wide. I'm not sure what he's looking at, but hopefully it's not me. Now see that pose right there? That's not a very um, pleasing pose for a photo. What he's doing is listening behind himself, but... And then when you have one ear back and one ear to the front, but when he brings both of them to the front and brings his head up, that's the shot you're looking for. Come on, buddy. Give us that regal pose. Oh, it's kind of there. Close, close, close. Nope. Oh, that was a little sniff of the air. How cool. What he's looking at is there's a cow right up behind me, up on the hill. So I think he's interested in going and checking that out. going on here is he's doing a rut pit that ought to bring that cow to him this is awesome so he's digging in the dirt and then what he's going to do is scooch up over it and pee in it a little bit then sometimes he'll do it again scooch back and pee in it or dig a little bit more and then what he'll do is he'll make a big old ruckus and slap yeah. his antlers and what happens is these cows come in because they get interested and they want to get in that rut pit just as much as he wants to make it and she has moved all the way down the hill it's pretty cool um, she's being a little leery but he's gonna see that he has her attention and he's gonna just keep going. So we ought to see him just go a little crazy here, hopefully. Well, he's gonna keep digging, keep making it. Such a cool sight. So he's just trying to get it as muddy and as gooey as possible because he wants to get that that scent and those hormones and that pheromones all over him himself but then the cows want to get in it just as much as he wants to get it all over himself it's just one of those things during the mating rit ritual the last time that he pees in it he should pee for a long time okay you're just gonna see a cow come right in there she is then she'll try to move him away. Look at that. She wants right in there.
he had to back up and just go a little crazy. But she's already pushing on him and rubbing on him. Look at that. God, that's so cool. He's still peeing. He may not go crazy because the cow's right there, but normally he'll just try to get his antlers in it. He wants to, there he goes, there he goes. I'm surprised there's no other cows showing up. So he'll lay in it. And then she'll try to push him out of it. Oh my gosh. So she is, oh, here comes another cow. I knew it. How cool is that? He just got all the cows to come right to him just by creating that red pit. shot right there. Golly. This is amazing. There's still a cow in the rut pit. There's another cow queued up wanting to get in the rut pit. I'm gonna tell you what though, it is flipping cold out here. I can barely feel my fingers. But fortunately, today I brought the old hand warmer, the electric hand warmer. It saves the day when your hands are too cold to feel them. How interesting though, you know, that cow was way up on the hill. Rather than him walking all the way up there, he's like, hey, I think I'll just dig a rut pit and then she's gonna come down. And then the other two that had scurried off to the alders over here that were eating, they got interested and it brought all three of those cows right back to him. Pretty amazing. So I think he's just smelling here. He's not eating, he's just smelling the, the smells to see if any of the cows are leaving any scents behind that make him want to. Yep, he was smelling one of the cows pee, so he's lip curling again. We shot that earlier this morning. can't stop saying it, how cool, how cool, how cool. <laughs> but it is cool. Oh man, it's so frosty out. You know what's awesome though? Is I got some biscuits, like hard, what is it? Uh, Bavita biscuits and hot coffee in my pack. So when this is all said and done, just such an important part of the moose rut and being able to see it from a high, higher vantage point and just see the whole action and how all the cows came in and how he made the pit I hope I don't sound like a great big dork when I'm talking about all this but it's 
such a cool thing to be able to witness and film. And, you know, I come out here day after day after day after day, and yesterday was the prime example of one of those days where you're like, God, why did I spend all that time walking out there? And I did it twice yesterday, so I don't know, I think when I was all said and done, it was 14 or 15 miles, and carrying this pack, carrying this tripod, didn't shoot much. I mean, I got a little bit of footage yesterday, but then you hike out here today, and within minutes of getting to where we'd been seeing these moose, or getting a few shots, and then all of a sudden you see him kind of acting like he's gonna dig a rut pit, and boom, I've shot. So I have a brand new card in it, and on this red at medium quality, 8K footage, 17 by nine, aspect ratio it's I think an hour and five minutes and I'm down to 45 minutes so I've shot 20 minutes of 8k footage of this whole thing that makes it so worth it <laughs>